is Russell here, and today I have a brand new Lego build for you guys. So, here it is, the Lego Pump Action Rubber Band Pistol. So I know it's been over a month since I last posted on the channel, but today I'm back with this brand new build, the Pump Action Rubber Band Pistol. So you may be wondering where the trigger is, but this gun doesn't have a trigger because it relies on this pump right here to shoot the rubber bands. I'll show you how it does that later. But first, um, we should do some target practice with this and load the rubber bands. So anyways, here's the rubber bands. The maximum capacity is four rubber bands. So let's load them. That's the first one. After you load a rubber band, you push the gear back. And then you load in another rubber band. And the final rubber band. All right, this is the final rubber band. So, we're all set. Let's go do some target practice. All right, so guys, now let's talk about the gun's mechanism. So, the first step is we're going to disassemble the gun. So, give me a sec, guys. All right, so that should be enough. So as you can see, and this is the gear that holds the rubber bands, it is attached to this, to this very small gear along with these two pieces. Now, you see, it cannot be pushed forward because it's locked by this piece right here. That's the bolt lock. But when the bolt lock is pushed backward, it pushes it forward like that. See? So it actually... It actually pushes it two times. The first time when you push it, it locks. And then when the bolt is released forward, it pushes again like that. One, two. So, so the first time the bolt, the gear is pushed forward is when it shoots out the rubber band. And the second time it moves forward is to load in the new rubber band. So, so then when the, with the pump here, when I, so, when, so with the pump, when I push it back, that's how it releases the rubber band, chambers the new one, and then like that. So, so like when I, so let's say I loaded all the rubber bands, I push the pump back, I shoot one, it loads another one, I push it back again, I, sh I shoot one, it loads one, and I do that until all four rounds have been shot out. So, I'll show you how it's, how it works. So, let me load in two rubber bands to show you how this works. One. One and two. So, so the first time it shoots, it shoots the first rubber band. The second time it shoots, it shoots the second rubber band. So, so the first time I push this, it shot the... First rubber band, the second time I pushed it, it shot the second rubber band. So after I shoot the first rubber band, it chambers the second rubber band. And then when I push this again, it shoots the second rubber band and loads the third rubber band. When I shoot the third rubber band, it loads the fourth one. And then when I shoot the fourth one, the gear is empty and I have to reload it. So this is basically how the mechanism works. So now this gear, it has to be pulled back by this rubber band right here. Otherwise, it will not stay back like that. So I use this rubber band and it's connected to, to this part of the gun's body. Gun's body and I have this piece right here preventing it from going any further than it is right now. Let me tighten that. And it's connected to this piece. So when I push this down, it also pushes the bolt backward like that and yeah and also this right here is the rubber band holding bar i think you call it so um yeah also with the gun assembled this part of the bolt i mean the pump is actually the 
actually the pistol's ejection port so when i push it back it opens up like a real gun's ejection port would even though it doesn't actually eject shells but that's the way it is so yeah guys that is that is the mechanism and also it's pretty much it for this video but i do have one thing to say we actually surpassed one year on youtube on august 1st because our first video on the channel was on august 1st first so we actually went through one year on youtube gone through a lot we've gained over 50 subscribers which i have to thank you because you guys all subscribed now i have 57 subscribers so thank you so much for all the support you've been showing and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i hope you guys learned something how to build the mechanism and yeah i'll see you guys all next time see you then oops